What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode with AV Investments. AV, I want to wish you guys a happy, happy Thursday. As every day is an amazing day. Um, you've seen today. This is this is kind of an update to walk you guys through what we're going to be expecting at least till tomorrow. To what are we going to get into the weekend? And it's it's been so far off to a. <laughs> A very very funny beginning so first they had a lot of calls that they needed to get into the money not referring just to the AMC no this was throughout the overall market so what they did was <laughs> they made the report on the jobs and the jobs report came out to be better disastrous than the worst disastrous expect expectations so instead of 218,000 uh, I forgot what the number exactly was when I read it this morning. It was like 200, the, the consensus was like 218,000 or 227. And then it came in to be at 212. So that's good. And then because of that, the SPY went up. All the major indexes at some point were up like two and a half, three percent and short lived within literally like this is, this is how much of a mockery and how funny and stupid uh, the financial markets have become. Um, it's neither a bull, neither a bear market. This whole bull versus bear stuff is it's it's funny. This is what they use just to, uh, I guess, to make a name or put a face on things. Let me just give you guys the final scoop. Ultimately, got their money out. They needed the money, the, the, all their calls out. They needed the money. They needed to to, to push it up which they did, and now guess what? Look at it. What is happening? Dropping right back down and dropping even lower than before the reports. So if, if, if there wasn't no reports today, we probably wouldn't even be here, which is, which is funny, again, that they tie in these news and these things to the overall consensus of the market in where in reality, it, 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 it has nothing to do with it. You know, it, it just momentum like it's all algorithmic and they try to induce that into the thinking process for traders retail traders thinking that oh yeah the market is controlled by the news and what's happening by it and where in reality it's not um <laughs> as always not a financial advisor so therefore i'm just giving out my opinion much love to the family now as far as for amc um it's very it's, it's not strange. It's not like we haven't been here before, but long story short, they don't want us breaking uh, $10 and basically 32 cents. Um, perhaps not even the $10 itself in general. Um, there is so much, so much that rides above 10 against them. And there's so much that rides against them if it was to drop to nine. So, they're most likely placed to try to target us. I hope I'm wrong about this because that will be good. If, if I'm wrong, I'm good that we're good. And I, so I hope I am, but at least I see their card. Um, and they're going to try to finish you by tomorrow to be anywhere between 960 or above 950. I would say like 955 all the way up to the upper nines. Um, it would be highly unusual for us to have, maybe we'll have another battle of 1001 instead of 801 this time, uh, but it won't make much, much of a difference. Again, those those uh, strike prices, yeah, above 10, they can be exercised, but as far as people making money and selling them, uh, they need it to be a little bit higher than that. And that, and that for, therefore, for that break-even price, it needs to be just a, a bit higher than that in the 1030s, maybe 1038, 1040. So that's, there you have it. That's the scoop. Uh, most of all, I'm enjoying my puts on the SPY. It's doing amazing. I'm enjoying my puts on Riot also. I've had them in since just last week. If you know, you know. Uh, this, is, this is a matter now, guys, of enjoying the rhythm. If you create a rhythm on that trading of riding it down and riding it back up, Away from AMC talk, no day trading for AMC, for AB at least. You time it perfectly, it's an, such an amazing and fun experience. 
uh, that is also another very good way for everyone to try to even maximize their uh, positions through through the market itself. Uh, those of you who are uh, all about getting into IB, IPO plays and all that stuff, that's a very good way as well. Only thing is, you got to remember uh, to to do your homework on the company you're doing the uh, you're you're jumping into for the IPO. That way you don't get destroyed um, and you got to learn all the ins and outs we've made some content on ipos before you guys can go through the archives and see it but most importantly remember as far as for meme stocks nothing new i gave you the case and the scoop on amc which will go for most likely anyways all the other meme stocks across the board i gave you the scoop on the market tomorrow Expect it to be something more like of a consolidating day uh, slash they met their needs. They got the market to be raised above the $9 range because before, like last week, when we when we were heading into this week for AMC, we were at, what was it? It was like we were in the upper sevens, bottom eights, um, and they needed it to push us up. So it's so weird because obviously we they were pushed on so many puts. And they didn't want to get expo the market maker didn't want to get you know uh, bent over for those. So therefore they needed to push us, but they couldn't push us above ten as well. And even though we breathed right above it, um, it's mainly a matter of just clearing out some options. Whoever had calls, maybe even them, uh, but not to the point where. It goes above to 11 and 12. Um, if it does, I'll be surprised. Again, I hope I'm wrong about this one. It's just simply because if I'm wrong, whether to the downside or to the upside, that means it's good for us. So much love, AB Investments. I'll see you guys in the, uh, tomorrow probably for another update.